Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. And welcome back to a very belated ish, or edition of shop cards and uh, a few uh, gifts I received in the mail. <laughs> anyway, this is the only uh, actual Christmas card I received. And I got this from, of course, if you recognize the name, HobbyDude007, Mr. Mark Batson. Mark and I go back a long ways, all the way back into the 1970s when we were in school together. But I wanted to give him a little shout out because not only did he send me a Christmas card with some well wishes and prayers in the, on the back of it, but he also sent me a box of goodies. He said he had heard that, uh, or he noticed that I was doing a lot of restorations and so forth. And, he had some cars that he uh, thought I could use. So, without further ado, we'll tear into this box that has a number of cars in it. The first one we have here is very obvious. It's a Knight Rider uh, by looking at it. It's got the little red thing on the front there. The, and it is made in Macau. But I don't know who made it. Yatming, I think. Anyway, Trans Am 2000. Beautiful little car. Thank you, Mark. Up next, we got, obviously, a Porsche, which is a Chinese knockoff. But still, I see, I think, part of the glass inside there. Maybe all of it. And we have another Porsche. 911. Again, a Chinese manufacturer of no name, but that's okay. I always need pieces and parts. And another China, this is a, a Mercedes, I believe. No, BMW, yeah. Nice little car. And this one is GT380, which I don't know the manufacturer of, but and the next one we have here is another Firebird or Camaro made in Hong Kong. What else we got in here? We have a Honda by Majorette. Beautiful paint. Beautiful little car. Nice little car. A lot of raw meat in here. <clears throat> and this one is another China made. Kind of looks like a chaparral when you look at it. It's still a beautiful little car. And he also sent me this Majorette Honda NSX. Beautiful little car. What else we got? Uh, this one is a Matchbox Super Fast Savannah RX-7 with opening doors. They're all there and it's all there. And looks like we have another. I think this is actually a Porsche as well. From the looks of it. Another China made little car. And this one is, I believe, supposed to be made in China. But I believe it's supposed to be a Chrysler. Still, interesting little car. And another Chinese Porsche with a really weird grill on the front. <laughs> and look, I got another Knight Rider. That is cool. I love the Knight Rider series. It was, a, it was a fun series to watch. It was hard to take serious, but that's all right. It was a TV show. It was meant for entertainment. And here we go. Tootsie Toy Ford J Car. I love Tootsie. I love the J car. And we have another Chinese made Camaro, which actually is a very good representation of a Camaro. Nice little casting. And now we have one with T tops. A little newer one. Looks like it's about an 80. <laughs> And here we go. This one is another made by the Ooh, I know what this is. This is a Kenner Fast Ones. Kenner Fast Ones 
doesn't say what it is, but no, there it is. T R T M terrific or T R terrific, probably T R terrific. And this is another little china. I believe that's a Ferrari from the looks of it. And one more. This is another Porsche. Again, a uh, Chinese 155 scale Porsche 928. Put some different wheels on that and make a heck of a little car. And a Maisto. Maisto 65 Lamborghini Mura. Stack these up a little bit here. Keep them in frame. Now we also have, this one's from Hong Kong, plastic bodied, another Porsche. And what we got here? It's a num number M2. <laughs> Kind of makes me think of the, uh, I'm not sure what that manufacturer or what it's supposed to represent. The rear wheels are a little bit, uh, I think that was a pullback car at one time. Here's the old Cadillac. I remember reading an article once that said this was the one of the new collector cars. I'm not sure how well they went over. They were ne I was never a fan of them, of them, but they're fun to play with. Make something out of it. And what we got here? Benz 250 SEL. Not familiar with the logo on that. Grill's missing, but still, nice little car. A lot of Gaslands potential, if nothing else. And this is... A Toyota Celica, number S801, SM, hmm, I have to do some research, figure out who the manufacturer on that one, and the, uh, that other one, and we have another, this was, I think that's a T-Bird, with a crushed in roof, <laughs> Got another Tootsie. Another little Tootsie. That is, I believe, I think that's Cadillac. But it's a Tootsie toy. Love Tootsie toys. And just in time, we got uh, the uh, tribute to Opa coming up here in a couple of months. And this one is another Camaro or Firebird. And then we also have the T-Bird, 55, I believe, possibly. And this, Turbo Force, what a great name. You know, the little Chinese, sometimes they get a pretty good representation of what they got. I believe that is also a, maybe a Ferrari. This is made in China, Hot Wheels, 1987. Looks like a Porsche. Is that a nine? That might be a 911. Nine, nine, one of. And then we also have the BMW Z6 Matchbox. Nice little car. And, hey look, there they go, match set. <laughs> Can't pull out of my memory what those are, but uh, still. And we got another little Chinese car, Pipful, Pipful World Champion. I think these three are all kind of go together. And this, there's another little Chinese knockoff. I think that might be a Toyota or a Honda. Toyota, I think. This one is a Matchbox 84 Dodge Daytona Turbo Z with no hood, but that's cool. 
That's cool. I got plenty of pieces and parts I can play with. Might be able to scare up a hood for this thing somewhere. All right. Well, that's everything Mark sent me. Let me get this cleared away off the bench, and we will uh, take a look at the next set that I received. Hang around. All right, I'm back. Got the desk all cleaned off here. Now, this next box I received from Diecast Hallucinations. Now, Diecast Hallucin Hallucinations, can't say it, is uh, Guy Young. And Guy sent me one of this sticker and a box of castings. And his request was, said he's been enjoying my channel for some time. I would like to add some cars to your projects. I love the diecast vehicles ever since I was a little kid. Hope you can use these cars and show some love to them. That's not a problem. And I hope you can pick out a casting and customize it for me so I can have a Somo diecast original. Well, Guy, that I apologize for taking so long to get back and show these, but I will certainly do that. And we're going to show off some of these cars you sent me and uh, see what we can do to make a custom. First up, we have the flatbed hauler. Love, love the haulers. Always do so much with them. Very nice little casting right there. Up next, I have a heavy metal. Let's see. Majorette heavy metal little four by four this wheel is on backwards <laughs> all right that's just a different wheel well i got plenty of other wheels that i can use for that one and what else we got in here it's going to take me a minute i gotta tear them all out of the bubble wrap probably should have did that to begin with but i did not and this one is a Matchbox Super Fast number 13, the Bam Buggy, Baja Buggy, sorry, little bitty print, old eyes. Got a little curve in the roof there, but you know, I don't think I, I wouldn't, don't think I'd have any trouble getting that replaced or repaired. And what else we got? Next one we have is. A little Honda CRX. That's a Z Toys Honda. Not a bad looking little car. I've got a few Z Toys, so that's a nice one right there. And this is one I'm very familiar with and love it. It's a Hot Wheels, and it's the rescue truck. And this is one of the newer ones. I've got some of the older ones that I've done several of the uh, variations on. So I got another one I can do a little variation on it as well, looks like. And let's see what we got. We have the Hot Wheels American Ambulance. A beautiful little casting as well. Lots of good things we can do with that. I dropped the box. <laughs> Sorry. I should have been better prepared, but I wasn't. thought I'd get these things out while I was thinking of it. I had a few minutes to spend showing you what I've received. This one is a Hot Wheels from 94. A little wreck truck. Plastic body, I believe. And it's held, this is interesting. It's held in with these little security screws. But cool nonetheless. Very cool. And we got here is. Can you see it? It's a 57 Chevy. A little Chinese 57 Chevy. But like it find a place to do some custom work on that one and next up we got I have one of these I actually drilled on my bench at the point dogfighter 
odd little casting, but you know what? They actually had cars at one time that people made with the propeller in the front. Never understood it, but even so, it, uh, I haven't come up with a plan for it yet, but, uh, that's one I would really like to do. And we have a play art. Carabo Carabo Barone. That's cool. Wings missing, but that's all right. The way we do things around here, parts are missing. They become customs, or I find a way to either 3D print one or come up with some other way to make it a useful project. And this is the Hot Wheels from 97. Looks like a Chevy pickup, four-wheel drive. Maybe that's a Chevy. I have maybe a Toyota. Anyway, still nice car, nice car. And let's see what else we got in here. This one's fighting me. Doesn't want to come out of the, bl the bubble wrap. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> we got here. It's a Hudson Hornet. Made in China, but look at that. Is that not cool? Man, I could come up with something for that thing. I guarantee you I can come up with something for that one. And our next candidate, oh, a little, little military truck. Made in Hong Kong by Zelmax cargo truck that's cool it's about a 175 I think scale a nice little truck and up next we have another reluctant one doesn't want to come out this is with part of the windshield in there or a window uh, Hot Wheels I think that's Cadillac if I remember right and let's see what else we got in the box got a lot of them in here this one I believe is a Mercedes with no doors but cool Corgi Rockets Mercedes 260 SEL. And up next. Well, we got one door. <laughs> Zelmex Plymouth. And part of a tire. <laughs> and let's see. Moving on, we got a Chinese knockoff of something. I don't know exactly what it is. Mid four. You're seeing these as I am for the first time. I've been so busy with a variety of things going on and I've just kept looking at them and looking at them. I thought this is a good day. Let's just bust them open and take a look. Matchbox 97 Chevrolet Corvette. That's a nice little vet. That might make a good one for uh, PB's Corvette build coming up. And what do we got here? Doesn't want to open. Got another four-wheel drive. What do we got here? Matchbox. From 1981. Mini pickup. Cool. Kind of gives you a... Uh, kind of a Ford vibe, actually. And here's a good one. Uh, this is the... Pump, uh, 
maybe at Foden, I believe it is, Foden Concrete Truck, by Matchbox, number 21, I believe that's Foden, and have to see if we can get the uh, mechanism to work on that one again, don't know for sure, but always worth trying, and in here we've got some really good tape, <laughs> And a little Chinese Chevy pickup from the looks of it. A little step side. Cool stuff, guy. I'm loving this. What else? What else? This one. Doesn't want to come out. It's a Mustang. This is a Hot Wheels little Mustang. Windshield's messing, broke off, but still got good possibilities with that. Almost done. We got about three or four more left. Let's see what we got here. And this is Chinese GMC. Paradigm. Nicely detailed casting. Nice little four wheel drive. But our next little offering is a Zelmex Chevelle hardtop with missing doors. But that's all right. It's like a 72, looks of it. Or 70, 73 or 4. Uh, all the cars run together after a while. And this uh, next one is really not wanting to come out. <laughs> this is a Maisto Mercedes Benz SLK 230. A little bend in the windshield, but I think we could probably straighten that out. The key with straightening out uh, die cast is go slow, apply a little heat, don't push too hard. <laughs> Here's one that I really like. It's the Hot Wheels Funny Car. I love the old funny cars, especially the ones that pop open. The modern ones, they don't actually make them pop, pop open like they used to, but still give it a little paint some decals you have a genuine article there last one guys thanks for sticking with me if you're still out there this is a kid painted <laughs> heavily kid painted Maisto 2000 Chevrolet SSR that would be a great little build if I can get all the paint off the windshield so Guy, thank you very much for your contributions to the channel. I really appreciate it. I will pick one of these out and I will make a custom for you. And I'll be contacting you to let you know what we're doing and when you'll receive it. Guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hey, I will see you in the next.